So Eagles owner Jeffrey Lurie wants quarterback Jalen Hurts to be the Eagles start in 2021. Hmm. So, according to reports, Eagles owner Jeffrey Lurie has told Eagles general manager Harry Roseman that he wants the Eagles to go forward with um, the quarterback, the number one quarterback next year being the quarterback Jalen Hurts. Of course, Jalen Hurts being the Eagles' second round draft pick last season, he came in in relief of um, Carson Wentz, who was playing pretty terrible all last season. He came in, showed some flashes of uh, potential. And according to reports, now that now that the Eagles have moved on from Carson Wentz, traded him to the Colts, Jeffrey Lurie told Harry Roseman not not to even consider drafting a quarterback in with the first round pick. Eagles have the six the six overall pick in this year's first round of draft. He he told him not to draft a quarterback in that in the first round and that he wants the Eagles to go forward with Jalen Hurts as the start of next season. Without even without even giving Jalen Hurts any competition, he just wants the Eagles to name Jalen Hurts officially the uh, starter in the 2021 season. And here's my thoughts on this: I like the fact that um, Lurie, Jeffrey Lurie, is um, you know he, he wants to give um, Jalen Hurts a chance. He you know he, he wants to give the kid a chance. You know he wants he wants to see exactly what Jalen Hurts can do as our quarterback. I absolutely love that, but. But no competition. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I I don't agree with that. I, like I said, I love the fact that he does want he does want to give Jalen Hurts a chance to show what he could do with a full season. You no, know, a full season the with the you know taking taking our first team um, snaps. Um, for uh, you know his second season um, learning the offense. I, I I love it. I love he wants to give this kid a chance, and I support that one hundred percent. I definitely do believe that we need to see more of what we have with Jalen Hurts. So I am I am not against that whatsoever. I support that one hundred percent. But like I said, I don't I don't support not giving him any competition at all. I believe we should definitely have a quarterback competition. Um in not not just in our training camp, but in the all season all season workouts. There should be somebody there that is definitely um, giving um, Jalen Hurts a run for his money. That's giving Jalen Hurts some chop, uh, some competition because competition brings the best out of players. It brings the very best out of them. So bring competition in here. Let, Jay, let, let Jalen Hurts go out there and earn the starting spot. That's my thoughts on it. Jalen Hurts needs to go out there and earn the starting spot. He does not need to, he, he does not need to just be handed the starting spot. And feel like he has the attainment of, okay, well, the owner is 100% behind me. I don't really have to do much. This job is guaranteed to me. No. Jalen Hurts needs to feel like he has to, he has something to prove. He needs to have, some, he needs to have another quarterback on, on his, you know, that's breathing down his neck. That's what he needs. He needs that competition. He needs to go out there and he needs to earn that spot. He needs to earn the trust of not just, you no, know, not just the, um, the, the, the coaches, but the players around him. You no, know, the players that you no, know, the players on this team, they you know he needs to earn their respect. You know, they, you know that he needs to go out there and earn that spot. So, yeah, man, I love the fact that that Lurie is, uh, like I said, I love the fact that Lurie is behind the kid and he wants to see him get a chance to um to see what he could do. I, I absolutely love that, and 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 I'm you no, know, and, and, and like I said, I support that one hundred percent. You no, know, Jalen Hurts definitely has earned the right to have a chance for the starting job next season. But he should not be guaranteed the spot next season. If, if that makes any sense to you guys, that's that's just how I feel about it. You know, he's he's earned the right to compete for the starting job next season. With all likelihood, he was going to be the star next season anyway, based on what I was seeing. He was he was more likely to be our starter anyway. But he does not he does not need to um, just be handed the starting spot. Make him go out there and earn that spot. Make him go out there and and battle his ass off. Doing training camp, you know, doing preseason, make him go out there and earn every, you know, every single, you know, snap he gets. You know, I, I think this up this upcoming season, like I told you guys, I'm expecting this to be a rebuilding season. So I'm not gonna be extremely critical of Jalen Hurts. I will criticize him when he, you know, when he does make mistakes. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna be like, okay, 
you know, Jalen Hurts sucks. Let's get rid of him. You know, let's just go ahead and get rid of him after the second season because, you know, this this team this team this season, man, this is a rebuild. This this, this is going to be a rebuilding year. That's just the way I'm looking at it going to the season. I know I'm not going. I'm not going to the season with super high expectations that the Eagles can actually compete for a championship this season because I don't believe that. I believe that we are going that we're going to have a lengthy, um, you know, rebuilding process, possibly three to five years of rebuilding. And Jeffrey Lurie himself has come out and admitted that he sees a rebuilding process for the Eagles. The Eagles are making a lot of moves right now, get rid of a lot of veterans, a lot of pricey aging veterans. And um, you no, know, there's there's reports that they they're looking at possibly trading um, Brandon Brooks. You no, know, Zach Ertz is going to be on the move sometime soon. Uh, Alshon Jeff is going to be released. So yes, this season right here is going to be an evaluation season. If that's the way I'm look at it, I'm look at it as an evaluation season. I'm I'm going to be watching carefully what Jalen Hurts does in that field. I'm going to be watching very carefully what these younger guys do. These you no. Know, these 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 two you know these work these rookies to three third year season players I'm gonna be watching them very carefully as well so yeah I'm not going to the season with super high expectations I'm expecting this to be a rebuilding season I think we got at least Eagle fans embrace yourself you no know, just go ahead and embrace yourselves I'm expecting this to be a two to three year at least rebuilding process and and I'm fine with that I'm perfectly fine with that I'm no <laughs> I'm fine with starting over fresh, man, because I want I want a team that can sustain success for, you no, know, for for a very long time. You know, I don't want a team that's just gonna win a Super Bowl and then you know just fall off like the Eagles have done since they won their Super Bowl. They have they have declined each season since that Super Bowl. So I want a team that that can uh, sustain long term success. So in order to do that, we got to get rid of these old aging players and we have to get younger. So I'm all for. You no know, building around Jalen Hurts. Uh, you no, know, you no know, trying to build, trying to build a team around Jalen Hurts. But like I said, Jalen Hurts should not be guaranteed that starter spot. Make him go out there and earn it with his play. You no, know, with, with his performance on the field. Make him go out there and earn it. Not just his play on the field, but the way that he progresses during training camp. Make him earn it. Bring in another quarterback that's breathing down his neck. Cause competition in the long run is gonna be very good for Jalen Hurts. It's gonna be very good for Jalen Hurts because what it's gonna what, what it's gonna say to Jalen Hurts is if you wanna be if you wanna be a starter quarterback in for the Philadelphia Eagles, you're gonna to have to earn it. So I absolutely love the, like I said, I absolutely love the fact that 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 Lurie is behind him. He wants to see he wants to see him get a chance. He wants to give him a chance. But he should he should not be entitled to the starting spot, is what I'm trying to say. He should have to go out there and actually earn it with his performance. Doing training camp, his performance during OT, OTAs, training camp, preseason, he should earn it with with it, with, it, with his performance. That that's all I'm saying on that. So um yeah, according to reports, Jeffrey Lurie has you no know, has told Eagles general manager Harry Roseman not to even consider drafting a quarterback in the first round to give Jalen Hurts the starting job for two. You no, know, he wants he wants Jalen Hurts to be the starting quarterback in 2021. <clears throat> so yeah. That's just my two cents on it, man. Make the kid go out there and earn that starter spot. He he's more likely gonna be a starter anyway. No, more likely he's gonna be a starter, but he should not just be hand the starter spot. He no, there should be a chance of him losing that starter spot if another quarterback comes in and actually outperforms him in the offseason programs. If if another quarterback comes in and actually outperforms him, then that start then that other quarterback should get the starter job. But if Jalen Hurts goes out there and he and he proves himself. Then absolutely, Jalen Hurts is the starter for 2021. No problem with that at all. You know, I'm all about you no. Know, I'm all about bringing the best out of these players. I'm all about you no know, humbling them, making sure they know that you no, know, you know that you could be you know, that your job could be taken at any moment. You know, you, you're not you're not you're not entitled to anything here. You have to go out there and work for it. That's what I believe in. Make no no that that retirement feeling. They should not have that retirement feeling. They should be. They should feel like their job. They should feel like their job is at risk at all times. That they could lose their job at any time. That's how the players should feel. They you know so you no know, because like I said, when they feel like that, that pushes them to be at their very best. So that's that's just the way I feel about it, man. You know, you know, make make Jalen Hurts earn that starting spot in 2021. Don't just hand it to him. 
Anyway, man, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you, um do, do you agree with uh, Jalen Hurts being a starter for 2021? Uh, <clears throat> do you agree? Do, do you agree that he deserves a chance to be the starter? Um, no, just let me know. If you don't, if you don't agree with him, you know, being a starter, let me know that as well. But as always, go birds. Spunky Nights 91 is out of here. Fly, go fly. Peace.